Step one in the transformation. He got the bike. Cash is king. Cash is the way to go. Yeah, I'm jealous. Oh, I'm jealous. It's beautiful. I want mine already. <laughs> Further ado, here it is. That's how you do it. He's buying a new bike. The bike is amazing. Cash is king. Cash is the way to go. Let's ride down there. He's going to John, ride down there and come back with his new bike. Thank you. We're heading down south, about an hour south. If this is going to work out, expect big, new, cool stuff on the channel. I think it's going to be even a game changer uh, for the channel. Completely new, different content. Cool, cool stuff. Stuff. He has plans, I have plans. They, they, are, they coincide, they're one wrap with the other. Really cool items, we're gonna see the bike. John showed me the bike on Facebook, they on Facebook Market. It looks really, really good, I'm excited for it. I also have something very close in mind, same concept. I mean, if we nail this and I'm 100, I'm very positive it's gonna be a winner. It's gonna be epic, epic for these channels, I'm telling you, a big change, wait and see. Step one in the transformation, he got the bike. Awesome looking bike. Take a look on his video. He's gonna do a walk around once he gets, once he picks it up. Gonna come pick it up. Amazing bike. and the throttle, no more electronics, not all the fancy stuff that we nowadays with modernization things uh, become somewhat even complicated and you kind of miss a little bit of the simplicity of the trade, the simplicity of the fun, the simplicity of the ride, the simplicity of the flight. For me it was when we were at Milwaukee at homecoming, Harley's homecoming. I was walking through the museum, Harley Museum, and seeing all those beautiful old school, you know, these old bikes with the chrome, with the metal, with, you know, just a simple, simple wheel and engine and throttle. It was, it was kind of exciting and it, it gave, you know, it made my, you know, my gears, my head start thinking and putting a smile on my face. And I was like, oh, I'd love to have that FXR. I'd love to have that 
1975 Sportster, which was just amazing. And it triggered, it triggered uh, an emotion, triggered something in my head of, of doing something simple, doing something old school, just doing something old. And it, funny, we, I never talked to, to John about it. And when we got back from the trip, we both at one of our meetups, we both came and, and said the same thing and was like, we got us, uh, we got each other excited. It was like, yeah, I was just thinking about that too. And look at this. And he was like looking at these bikes and I was looking at that bike. And we kind of fine tuned it. And we came to uh, both want to go that path of riding basic stuff, old school stuff. And right now on my way to Connecticut. Well, you'll see very soon, very somebody you actually know a presence on YouTube that you actually know and by just by chance I'm actually buying a bike from him and one of the options was uh, for him to send uh, it's like 140 miles away from uh, from my house and it was like yeah we can uh, send a bike to you we can trailer it to you and I said you know what no I'm gonna actually come and ride the back uh, ride the bike back home so I asked John if he wants to do that. John was really excited. I asked the crew, the rest of them were like, yeah, let's go up there. And you'll see why it's so cool to go up there and pick up the bike. And we're gonna pick up the bike over there and gonna ride it back. Well, we're almost there. This is the road itself. It's Rockville, Connecticut. Does it ring a bell? Hey, how you doing? Are you, are you junior? Yes, sir. Hey, how you doing? How you doing, What's sir? up, brother? Oh, hey. Hey. You're tall. Welcome, you welcome down, man. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. welcome down. Good. So this is our office. Okay, cool. Yeah, this is where we line up all the bikes that are uh, getting shot that week. Uh -huh. And then we'll give you the full Monty tour. We'll show you okay. the museum. When the guys come, hey, here's Kaplan. How you doing? Senior. How are you, how you doing? Oh, yeah. The man and the legend. How's it going, man? How you doing? Pleased to meet you. How's everything? Good, good. Very good. The routine is pretty much uh, to get out all these test, test rides and then post them on eBay, right? eBay and YouTube, YouTube obviously. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. That's how I saw the bike. That's cool. how I saw the bike. I saw it. I saw it on uh, on YouTube. And I said, I like that bike. It's a beautiful I, piece, I man. It really is. I'm not going to show you guys. You're going to see it very soon. But trust me, right there, it's a mwah, beautiful bike. You know. So listen, that was. So. I saw it on eBay. I saw I saw your father on uh, YouTube with it. Yeah. And I was like, okay, where did I get it? It was a Friday, yeah. I, or it was Saturday, and you guys were closed. So right, I was right, like, right, okay, right. where did I find it? I go to eBay, I see it on eBay, and I see like two days left. Yeah. It was like at six point, like 6,200, right, and right. people were bidding. You just clicked buy now, right? I just did yeah. buy now. If you want yeah. something, you like it, yeah. why Why hesitate? Yeah. You, like, you were the eagle you swooping in. Yeah, yeah, you snooze, you lose. And then That's like, it, then he calls me up. He says, oh, one of the guys that was bidding wants to buy it. You want, Dude. he'll offer you money if you want to get, let it go. So we, we, yeah, you lose. Yeah, you lose, right? He really wanted it. Yeah. yeah, he came and actually saw it the day before you bought it. And uh, after he went and saw two other bikes, and uh, he called he called me the next morning. He was like he's like Ken, I I, I want to proceed with the, with the purchase. It. So, but this is tip top. So You're yeah, I didn't I I just saw it. I yeah. said I, that's the bike I want. I call I said to John John take a look at this. Yeah. And he's like, take it now. Just yeah, grab yeah. it. Just grab it. One hundred percent for for the for the money, and it's the right color. And then these Macs are bitching, dude. Yeah. It's really really uh, tip top. And you know the, the modern Harleys don't really do it for me. They're really this Avenue, one hundred percent. It's like it's, it's like old school. It, yes, yeah, and it's been fully depreciated. Yeah. You know, in the first in the first year on a, on, a, on a new bike, the depreciation hit, and then the tax and insurance is uh, it's nuts. So you buy like this is like you know something you buy, you right. ride the wheels off of it for right. a couple of years, and it's worth what you paid. You know, and you're gonna keep it nice, obviously. You know, so, I have some yeah. uh, nice upgrades in mind what, already. What are you gonna do? Well, I'm not what gonna tell you right now. Okay. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, you gotta, you gotta keep people yeah, guessing. This is not gonna be in, but yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's yeah, it. Just make it mine. Yeah, 100. Yeah, it's gonna be yeah. sick. Obviously, a little bit uh, like you know, pegs and stuff like that. Cause those are stock. If you're cruising, this is it. You know? Yeah. Like yeah, the yeah. riding position is like yeah. Yeah, so comfortable. You know. But uh, the further ado, here it is. So guys, sorry about that. Without further ado, I had to go ride the bike back home and do the reveal over here. Let me show you. 
How about that, huh? As you can see, my new 2004 Softail Deuce, 7,500 miles on the bike. I'm the second owner and it is pretty much untouched. Stock exhaust, stock air cleaner with uh, Willy G cover, Willy G accents here and there, but everything is pretty much stock. The only thing that was pretty much changed is the saddleman seat, which is very comfortable. That's about it. Really, really taking care of the guy who owned this. Really babied it, garage kept all the time. Kaplan Cycles just put a new battery in it, flushed the oils, gas, no ethanol. Really, really babied it. I rode it from Connecticut to here, 120 miles. Stay tuned for more of content. I have some upgrades uh, like you've seen in mind. First and most important thing, is the lights you'll see that right now at the end we're actually showing how bad the lighting was during the ride back beautiful bike 2004 it's 20 years old and it rides beautifully you know sandy the first time that they wheeled this one up i was like holy shit it's great <laughs> <laughs> it's a great condition huh yeah this is uh dipped up yeah, it for is. For sure. No, it was stored properly the whole life. You know, paint's perfect. Yeah. The chrome's perfect. This is it. I had a couple guys that were really, really upset to see this one go down the road. But you, yeah. you snoozy loose.